And moving over to the deck, this is our blueberries, which we've got planted in pots. These were, at one point, out in front of the shop, and they weren't doing very well. I moved them out here last um, spring, and they just took off. So these are much happier in this location. I'm going to keep them here. They produced pretty well last summer. I think they're going to produce even better this year. Okay, swinging around, we're going to go to the new section of the garden. This was our expansion project uh, that we put in. Really started last a year ago, last fall, and then finished up last spring. There are three main beds. They are four feet by 24 feet, so they're roughly 100 square feet each. Nice size for planting garden crops. They're uh, largely empty at this point, other than they're covered with compost and a little bit of a green manure crop. I say largely empty though because we do have some carrots um, down on this end and I don't know if you can see the carnage or not but this is the bed that the bunny rabbit's been into and you can see he's been eating on carrots uh, nibbling the tops off and just leaving them all over the place so bunny's been having a feast day in my garden um, swinging around we've got again this bed just has compost in it and this bed has a little bit of some cover crop on it although it looks pretty um, puny mainly because we've had bunny rabbit eating on them you can see he's been chewing the tops of the leaves of the crimson clover so must like crimson clover um, behind me sorry for the swing, um, is the raspberry patch. We planted 10 heritage raspberries, five of which did great and five failed. I need to order five more and, and get them installed this, this year. And in addition to that, we need to actually build trellis for this. We didn't do that last year, just ran out of energy and time, and used these tomato supports instead as a make-do option. Um, my husband has on his to-do projects for next year to build a trellis for this. Um, he, he loves the raspberry patch, so I think he'll get right to that. Okay, and then swinging back around, this is the uh, other vertical grow bed. This one also had carrots in it, and you'll notice that Bunny has been here too. Look at that. And he's been quite the... Well, he's done quite a bit of damage. Um, again, this is... Uh, typical of the grow beds, they're two feet wide. I use the uh, metal conduit that my husband then bends using an electric conduit bender. They are connected in the center. Let's see if I can get to the, there it is. You can see it's connected there. And then I use tie wraps to connect the netting to the framework. So that's how those are put together. Okay, one last thing before I wrap this up for today. Um, one thing I'm asked a lot about is the PVC hoops and the grow tunnels and how those are put in place. I've got one uh, set up here, the, the hoop structure itself, not the hoop tunnel. And just to show you, um, on these older sections of bed, we actually used uh, a metal pipe that's been sawed off, as you can tell that is driven into the ground and then bolted onto the, the wood. And so it serves the purpose of holding the frame and anchoring it uh, to the ground so it doesn't walk around or move. The bolt also, though, provides a floor so that when you place the PVC pipe into the metal pipe, it sits firmly in there and it rests on the bolt at the bottom there keeping it all basically at a certain height all the way across the bed, which makes for a nice uniform grow tunnel. Um, this is the probably the most elaborate process we have for that. Um, to be honest with you, we also just shove them into the dirt inside of the bed frame. Uh, let's see if I can do that here. This is pretty, uh, pretty frozen, but you can just take it and, no, I can't get it into the ground, but I would just shove that down into the soil when the soil isn't frozen hard like it is today. Uh, and that works just as well too. And the frame helps to hold uh, the, the PVC pipe steady and doesn't let it, again, move away from, uh, or just holds it steady. So that's pretty much it. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour today, and we'll do more of this in the future when there's hopefully more to look at in the garden.